Hey YouTube, I'm here to show you my video games finds for May 17th, 2013. Um, got a lot, quite a lot of games, a lot of controllers. Um, the mixture is kind of kind of odd. I got one console, uh, the GameCube, so uh, I'm go right into it. So um, first place I went to had a lot of stuff. Um, was there about like two, three minutes late. Some guy already bought the Wii and a lot of games, but I got a few games a few controllers. So the first place I went to, I got Plants vs. Zombies for the Xbox 360 complete. These other games are also complete. Donkey Kong Battle Blast for the Wii. Mario Kart for the Wii. The Orange Box for the PS3. And uh, Little Big Planet 2 for the PS3. So for Mario Kart it actually came with two steering wheels, the Wii, the official Nintendo brand. And I got three controllers, but they don't match any of the games I got. So I'll show you real quick what they are. I got a GameCube controller, silver. And then I got two PS2 controllers, one uh, PlayStation brand and uh, one uh, third party brand. Um, this one's like a black one, could be for the PS1. Uh, it's got a picture of Darth Vader in the center, and then on the side, I guess it's the Darth Vader edition. <laughs> PS2 uh, controller. So I paid $40 for everything, including the controllers. So it was an okay deal. Not a great deal, though. So, next place I went to, um, they're advertising they had a Wii and a few games. Um, got to a little bit early. They won't let me check it out till the exact time. Uh, felt like I was in an Alfred Hitchcock movie just because uh, there was these two crows kind of next to them, wherever the grass that was, there was a tree and they were kind of like swooping down near me when I was just standing there. Well anyway, <laughs> I got four games, um, they were asking $15 a piece, I paid $10 a piece instead. Um, a little bit high for Wii games, but they're all Mario related. So we got Mario Party 8 for the Wii, these are co all complete. Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii, and uh, Super Mario Brothers for the Wii, and uh, another Mario Kart for the week. So like I said, I paid $10 a piece, so 40 total. Uh, the next place I went to, uh, it was kind of like a city-wide garage sale, so uh, I feel that most of those are more missed than hits, just because people, you know, just join up and they just throw whatever garbage they have from the garage, so so even though it's either like 40 garage sales, there's really probably only like a very few decent ones. So. I drove around quite a bit, a long time, I only got one game. Let me see if I can find it. Yep, it's not that great of a game. For the DS, I got Pets, Cats, Clan, Complete. Yeah, Complete. Uh, not that great of a game. Only paid three bucks, though. So, um, after a while, I drove around and then. Um, I got a bunch of some garage sales, some kids garage sale, I got a few games. I got a lot of games, uh, not a lot, just a few of them, the DS and the Wii. I paid $30, I'll show you what I got. I got Cartridge Only Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Lego Indiana Jones 2, Mario and Sonic, the Winter Olympic Games. There's a Summer 1 version 2. This one's complete. I got uh, another Lego Indiana Jones 2, but just for the Wii. I got a uh, Lego Harry Potter, year 1 through 4 for the Wii. I also got another Super Mario Brothers. This one's only the game only in the red case. And then I got a uh, Austin Blue Shipwreck for the Wii. This game looks pretty interesting. Um, and then I went to another garage sale. Um, a little bit surprised that they actually had games just because the person was a little bit older. And these games were quite old too. So I paid $2 a piece. I got Grand Theft Auto, Greatest Hits for the PS1, complete. And then I got Drake of the 99 Dragons for the Xbox. And uh, Final Fight Streetwise for the Xbox. So, um,. About that citywide, I actually there was a someone posted they had some GameCube games and a console, and um, I wrote 
wrote the wrong address down when I <laughs> put it into my system, my uh, GPS, and uh, drove over there, and there was no garage sale, and I was like, what the hell happened? And uh, later I found out it was the wrong address. So three hours later, I went to the right address. Surprised that they had the GameCube, but given how much he was asking, I can see why. Um, I had the GameCube, the silver one. Came with power adapter, AV cables, and uh, three controllers. I should have just one of them. They're all the same color. Uh, they're all the silver one. Looks like you used quite a bit. And it came with a bunch of games. Like I said, he was asking $80, so it was quite a bit of money, so I can see why people were saying no to it when they showed up. I paid $70. Um, I'll show you the games. Um, See, I'll tell you why I bought them, just because of the games, really. Not because of the first one, Madden 2003. They're all complete. 00795. Sonic Mega Collection. So here comes the good ones. Mario Superstar Baseball. Mario Kart Double Dash. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Super Mario Sunshine, and finally another Mario, Mario Party 7. So they're all complete, they're all in good condition, so 70 bucks wasn't, such, wasn't a bad deal at all. So the last place I went to, um, they're advertising Super Nintendo and Genesis and a bunch of games. So. I was expecting the console, but they didn't have the console, which is kind of odd. They had a lot of controllers for them, and a few of the games. So I'll show you what I, what I got. I got, for the Super Nintendo, I got Super Mario World, Mortal Kombat 3, and uh, what he claims to be NBA Jam. <laughs> Obviously the, the, the label has come off, so I need to check what actual game it is. And then he had a few Genesis games. He got Bulls vs. Blazers. Not that great of a game. It's not a sports game. Sonic the Hedgehog. This came with every Genesis that you bought. So that's why it says not for resale. And then the last game is a pretty rare game, I think. That's why it's been told that it was pretty fun. It's Strider for the Genesis. So it's complete. The guy's face is a little interesting. He also had a bunch of PS2 games. He had uh, Jack 2 for the PS2, Midnight Club 2 for the PS2, and uh, Simpsons Hit and Run for the PS2. And finally, he had a bunch of uh, controllers. Like I said, I kept asking if he had Super Nintendo or Genesis. He said he, he used to work for a gaming store and that he. he Traded them in a long time ago, so we still had a bunch of controllers. So bought them anyway. We have uh, two of these Super Nintendo controllers. They're in good condition. And then um, for the Super Nintendo, he also had a giant controller, the Super 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 Advantage by Asicware. This looks very similar to like the Nintendo original Nintendo. The the, the NES Advantage, so I guess it's similar. And then for the Genesis, he had a giant Genesis controller. I guess it's just like, it says an arcade power stick. I guess they're trying to, you know, Genesis is going against uh, Nintendo and they want to copy what they had with the NES Advantage. So they're in good condition. The buttons seem fine. The trigger seems fine. Also got two um, third party. Genesis controllers in the box, SN program pad, and uh, SG program pad. So um, I opened them up, they looked fine, they looked like they were rarely used at all to begin with, because he was using the giant pad the whole time. So I also got in the box, I thought they were video games, they were not, they were cleaning kits, but when I opened them they were never used. But the NES cleaning kit in a real nice condition. I guess the box, like I said, seemed like he never used them. And the Super Nintendo cleaning kit. Just the cleaning kit. Like I said, when I 
when I ran over there, I saw it look like this. I didn't look; it just looked like it was like a Super Nintendo game. I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be good." Cleaning kit. So I opened it up. It looked like he never used it. So box is in really good condition. So for all of that, I paid for the games, the controllers, and the cleaning kit. I paid sixty dollars, a little bit high. Uh, I think it was more my mistake than his what he was offering. So the last game I'm gonna show you. Actually, I got this at GameStop. Uh, I've been trying to find these uh, rare Wii games, and I found one. I have a few of them, but yesterday I found um, at GameStop. Walk it out for the Wii. So, uh, I paid like $17, and on eBay, you probably get, you gotta pay, um, it's only game only, so. But it's a pretty rare game, I was told. It's like, like $40 on uh, eBay. So, um, I played it last night, really what you're doing is just walking around, it's, it's kind of a mix of, because uh, you could use the, the Wii uh, dance pad or the Wii Fit, you're walking around and every time you walk around like it's a guitar hero or something, you get, you get points and you use points to build this village, so it's just a lot of walking. <laughs> so I walked like three miles yesterday in my house, it's kind of funny. So uh, that's all I got. Uh, like I said, a lot of games, a lot of controllers. Uh, it was a good day. Um, so that's all. So see ya.